By far the most common question I get is, how do I learn to code with zero experience? Which resources should I start with to learn how to code from zero? And should I go to college or should I teach myself how to code? Everyone has their own opinions on these questions, so in this video I'm gonna give you my one. Spoiler alert, I'm personally self-taught and that's probably the path that I would choose if I was starting over as well. So if you wanna go self-taught, your next question is gonna be which resources should I start using from all the plethora of options that exist online? I will also give you a list of the resources that I would start using if I was starting to learn how to code from zero. If you're not aware, my own background is that I graduated from university with an economics degree just last year and instead of going to work in finance like most of my other peers I did a complete u-turn and decided to teach myself how to code instead and I actually ended up getting a job as a software engineer in just a couple of months. I talk about how I did that in more detail in that video which you can watch somewhere over here but in this video I want to focus on specifically what I would do if I was starting over today and how I view these different options in 2022 because a lot of people talk about this but there's just there's a couple of things about this that I haven't really seen other people consider or maybe they have but like a lot of people really miss the point with a lot of the, I'll explain let me just explain so there are roughly three factors to consider in your decision of where to start learning to code money time and opportunity by opportunity i specifically mean the probability of getting interviews once you actually start applying because while getting interviews and passing them is obviously possible with all of these three options some of them will carry more weight for recruiters specifically so you might have a better chance of landing those interviews so the thing about the tech industry is that there really isn't an ideal path that maximizes all of these different variables because if there was then everyone would just be doing that the fact that there exists a debate between college bootcamp and self-taught necessarily means that there are compromises between each other because if one of them was obviously better than all the other ones everyone would just be doing that and this debate wouldn't even exist so that's why it's important to discuss these topics first college slash university here's the deal no matter how good you are at programming all other things being equal someone with a degree is always going to have an upper hand a slight upper hand in terms of landing interviews so if you have candidate a and candidate b who are equal in every other way except one of them has a degree then that candidate will have a higher chance of getting an interview because for better or for worse having a computer science degree on your resume is going to be a strong signal to your employers that you are competent even though it doesn't necessarily mean that but then you probably also know that there are a lot of computer science graduates who also struggle to get jobs so surely that means that getting a job as a self-taught is impossible if not even all graduates can get jobs not exactly because what i want to emphasize is that a college degree is beneficial all other things being equal and in terms of getting interviews and that's really important at least in a lot of the big tech companies once you actually land an interview the only thing that matters is your performance in the interview in fact i've heard google recruiters say that they are specifically instructed to only consider the candidate's performance in an interview when assessing them but essentially if you manage to land an interview in one way or another then at that point whether you have a degree or not doesn't even matter anymore but a degree will help you land those interviews but the other important thing is that all other things usually aren't equal there's a lot of college graduates who are completely useless at coding, who haven't put into work to actually learn the fundamentals and to build the skills that employers actually look for. There's a lot of self-taught people who are really great at coding and who have an excellent understanding of data structures and algorithms and all of the basics that employers look for. What matters the most is how much work you put in to actually get good at coding. And you can do that self-taught or you can do it with a degree. The only difference is that with a degree, you probably have a slightly higher percentage chance of actually landing those interviews. So then the question is is that slightly higher percentage chance of landing interviews really worth the time and money that you have to put into your degree and this is really going to depend on your location for example i know in the us degrees are really really expensive but somewhere in europe you can get a computer science degree for very cheap or even free so in that case it might just be worth it to do it but the other thing to consider is obviously it's going to take you three to four years to complete the degree whereas you can learn how to code by just focusing on the practicals through a boot camp or self-taught in like six months to a year that's like a common thing that people do i did it even less so who should get a degree i think you should get a degree if you can get it for a relatively cheap price or you're just willing to pay that price like it's going to depend on your financial situation and the price that you can get a degree for and that i can't answer for you that just really depends on your situation and the second thing is if you're willing to spend three to four years doing that degree before you can essentially even start applying for jobs so if those two things apply then you should probably just get a degree. Like at the end of the day, getting a degree is something that you can always have on your resume. It's probably the safest path if you're looking for that. So yeah, I don't think getting a degree is a bad option at all. It's just 
I don't think it's the fastest path to getting a job at all. So next, boot camps. And this is my personal least favorite option. Now, that doesn't mean that it can't work for many people. It works for a lot of people and there's so many, so many boot camp graduates who successfully get jobs all the time. So a coding boot camp is essentially an immersive program that teaches you everything you need to know about coding to land a job while sort of not focusing on a lot of the fluff and the theory that you probably don't need to land your first job. So you can complete it in a lot less time than a degree, but you're still usually paying quite a lot of money for it. I can see them going for like $10,000 plus. I know there's also some where you don't pay anything up front, but you only pay a percentage of your salary if you do actually land a job. So there are definitely options to do with very little financial risk. But the thing about boot camps is that I highly doubt that having the boot camp on your CV is really gonna carry all that much weight. What really matters about these things is what you can then build with your skills. The skills that you can build and the projects with that you can build with those skills and then showcase to employers to prove that you can code. And if you can do that, you can absolutely land interviews and get jobs. There's so many people who do that all the time. But the thing that I don't like about these boot camps is that they're sort of the worst of both worlds. You're still paying a lot of money, but the only benefit that you get are the skills and the project that you can build with them. But that's something that you can do self-taught. That's something that you can just teach yourself how to do if you have the capability and discipline of just learn on your own. A lot of people think that the stuff that you learn in the college and boot camps is somehow magical, is somehow exclusive that you can't find elsewhere. But that's just not true. All the information that you could ever want about coding or computer science is available online. And the sort of the point of my channel is to prove that, to show you all the different resources that you can use. So if that interests you, definitely give a subscribe this channel. And these days you can pretty much get the same exact value as a bootcamp for a fraction of the cost by doing something like zero to masteries online coding bootcamp. It's literally a fraction of what you'd be paying for an actual bootcamp. But then again, bootcamp can be right for you if, if you don't really have the discipline or the time to look for these resources yourself and you want a full curated program and you'd specifically want it to be in person to have access to the teachers to ask questions from. In that situation, bootcamp could be for you, but personally, it's just not what I would do. So lastly, self-taught. And I think this is sort of the better version of a bootcamp because you can essentially learn everything that you would learn in a bootcamp, except just not pay for it or at least not pay as much. But crucially, this requires that you are someone who is able to learn things on your own, which is, I think, a skill that's probably the most valuable skill that you can have in your life anyway. So if you are not someone who is disciplined and able to learn things on your own, that is is really a skill that you should probably be building anyway because as a programmer you are sort of required to be someone like that anyway in your job but really the great thing about self-taught is that you can really move at your own pace and for a lot of people who are changing careers perhaps from in another field where they already have a full-time job and they don't have time to commit to a full-time program going self-taught might be the only option but the great thing about the tech industry is so possible to teach yourself how to code and then transfer into becoming a software engineer i did it myself so many people do it all the time you just need to go out there and find the right resources. This is very different from a lot of different high paying fields like law or medicine, where you really need to have that degree for very good reasons, but tech is not a field like that. Coding is a very practical skill. And the only thing that matters to employers at the end of the day is, do you know how to code or not? And which method you use to learn how to code really doesn't matter at the end of the day. And sure, as I said, once you're actually applying for jobs, you are at a slight disadvantage compared to people who have degrees. But what many people aren't considering there is that to do a degree requires three to four years full time. Whereas if you're self-taught, you can do it pretty much as fast as you want. You can do it in a series of six months or even less like I did. And even if you have a full-time job or something, many people still do it in like a year. So let's say you learn how to code in a year to a point where you are competent enough to apply for junior positions. So you're essentially two to three years ahead of college graduates. So sure, compared to CS graduates, you are at a slight disadvantage, but you're starting a lot earlier than you would have if you would have enrolled in a full-time program, if that makes sense. So if you do decide to go self-taught like I did, what are the best resources? Like, where should you start essentially? And I talk about that a lot on this channel. So again, subscribe if you want to hear more. And I have a lot to say about a lot of coding resources. So this will definitely be a subject of a more detailed, in-depth video. But as a summary, there's three specific resources that I would recommend you start with. First is CS50. And I've made a full review of that here, which you can watch. You'd probably just go do CS50. It's honestly the best course that I've ever done ever in, in any subject. The teaching style is so intuitive, so engaging that if there's any chance that coding and computer science is for you, you will come out of that course so excited to learn so much more. Having a great instructor can be the difference between keeping going and learning more and quitting. And CS50 is just a great place to start because it will actually get you excited. So I recommend you start with that. So then after that, assuming you want to go into web development, which is what most people want to do, that's what I'm going into. If you want a free option, I recommend the Odin project. The Odin project is essentially 
essentially a curated online bootcamp kind of, where essentially it, you have a full curriculum to go from zero to knowing web development, including a lot of prompts to build projects along the way. Essentially, most of the lessons include links to a lot of external resources. So essentially the work that they've done for you for free is just curating a list of all the things that you should be learning and linking to all the relevant resources. The downside is that most of them are text-based and that's personally not my favorite way to learn coding. But if you are willing to invest in a bit of money and or if you're looking for a more video-based visual way to learn coding from a single really excellent teacher, again, I recommend Zero to Mastery. You get access to thousands of thousands of hours of coding courses. They have several specific roadmaps depending on what you want to do. For example, if you want to become a web developer, you can do the Zero to Web Developer step-to-step -step roadmap. Or if you want to learn data structures and algorithms of coding interviews like I'm doing right now, you can do the data structures and algorithms part and I'll dedicate a full video to talk about them because Zero to Mastery is essentially the only paid platform that I can honestly recommend is really great for learning how to code. And you may call me biased because my link to Zero to Mastery is an affiliate link, but it is a platform that I'm personally using myself and I would be recommending them anyway, even if I didn't have that affiliate link. But if you are interested and you do want 10% off, there is a discount code linked below. So that's really what I think about the topic of where you should learn to code in 2022. In your decision, there's obviously a lot of other things to consider as well. For example, in terms of college, my university degree that I did in economics was the best time of my life. And honestly, if I was straight out of high school, even with everything I know now, I would probably just go do a degree because in Europe and in the UK, you can do them for pretty cheap. And I would want the university experience anyway. So if you're young, I think it's worth to go to university just for the experience anyway, even if it is not the most optimal, the fastest path to getting a job. But the last thing I want to say is this, no matter which path you choose, what really matters in the coding industry is how good you are at coding. What really matters is how motivated you are to learn and that you're willing to put in the work to learn the fundamentals, to learn what you need to know and to get the skills that companies want. Whichever path you choose at the end of the day is secondary to having these things, to just keep in mind whichever path you choose to get a job, you actually need to be good. No matter how much you pay for your degree, if you don't put in the work to actually learn the stuff, no one's gonna give you a job. And a lot of the benefit from getting a college degree comes from having access to a lot of high quality resources and teachers. But the great thing is that in this day and age, you can just build yourself a full computer science degree from online materials, and I've actually done this. So if you do wanna learn computer science, but you don't wanna pay for an expensive degree, I highly recommend you watch this video where I explain exactly how I am teaching myself computer science for free using the internet. And I even give you a Notion template for you to use to track your progress. 